Hi, my name is Melissa and I'll be reading, reading to you today Yuri's Manung, written by Sue Atkinson and illustrated by Annette Sachs. Here we go. Yuri was a small creature with big eyes who lived in the Barma forest. The Yorta Yorta people who lived in and looked after the forest called her Yuri, which meant moon, as Yuri slept during the day and explored the forest by moonlight. The forest came alive at night. Many of the animals lived in the forest were nocturnal. Just like Yuri, they slept during the day and explored the forest at night looking for a feed. Yuri's big eyes were good for seeing at night and she loved to go along with the animals as they moved through the forest. She waddled along with Dakandira, the wombat, as he fed on the grass. She climbed the trees with Butcher the possum as he nibbled on the gum leaves. And she dug with Dalwa the bandicoot for earthworms. She dangled her feet in the river while Mumunyunga the bat swooped to catch water insects with her claws. In Wanala, the summer, Yuri slept on the riverbank on her bagunja, her possum skin. But when Bulbulga, the winter came, she found it hard to stay Dutchin, warm. One morning she was so bokaj, cold, she couldn't sleep at all. So Yuri took her bagunja and walked through the forest looking for a Dutchin place to sleep. Yuri climbed up a gum tree and saw a grass-lined hollow. She looked in and saw Pacha asleep. Pacha, it's me, Yuri. Is there room for me in your hollow? Cock will hush, said Butcher. There is no room for you here. Yuri walked past a cave. She looked in and so she saw Mama Yanga asleep. Mama Yanga, it's me, Yuri. Is there room for me in your cave? Cock will, said Mama Yanga. There is no room for you in here. Yuri tripped over a burrow. She looked inside and saw Tukandira asleep. Tukandira, it's me, Yuri. Is there room for me in your burrow? Cock will, said Tukandira. There is no room for you in here. Yuri walked through the bushes and saw a grass nest. She looked inside and saw Dalwa asleep. Dalwa, it's me, Yuri. Is there room for me in your nest? Cock will, said Dalwa. There is no room for you in here. That evening, the animals met under Biyala, the red gum tree. Yuri needs somewhere Dutchin to sleep during the day now Bapolga is here, said Butcher. Yes, said the other animals, but where should she sleep? Not in my burrow, said Duckandira. Other Duckandira visit my burrow. Not in my nest, said Delma. I have six babies in my nest. Not in my hollow, said Butcher. There is only room for me. Not in my cave, said Mum and Younger. I already share it with lots of other Mum and Younger. It was decided Yuri would have to find a place of her own. But the other animals didn't like to see her go cold. Uncle Ombrosa, a Yorta Yorta man, was sitting by, close by. He had been chopping wood for Bitcher, the fire. Uncle Ombros, said the animals, Yuri needs somewhere Dutchin to sleep. It's Bokaj on the river bank now Bokolga is, has come. Uncle Umbro slowly stroked his whiskers. I think I know what to do, but I will need you, you mob, to help. If I use my axe to cut some small branches and some bark from this tree, you could make Yuri a manung, a bark hut. Yes, said the animals, jumping up and down excitedly. A manung would be good for Yuri. And the animals worked together for the rest of the night to build a frame from the branches and cover it with bark. As Yuri, ye wrinkle, the sunrise began, the animals found Yuri and covered her eyes with a piece of soft bark. The animals led Yuri past the gum trees and the cave, around the burrow, through the bushes to her manang. When Yuri saw her manang, she was so happy, she did a dance with her bagancha, wrapped around her like a cloak. 
So, in the morning, Butcher slept in his hollow, Mummy Younger slept in her cave, Duck and Dara slept in his burrow, Dalwa slept in her nest, and Yuri was Dutchin and Gulnya, happy in her manung. The end.